think it's about time that I make a bicycle video. This is my mongoose. I've had this bike for quite a while now, and it's taken way too much abuse. The brakes are literally gone, like they've properly been removed, along with the transmission shifters. Um, brake pads gone. The front wheel has been replaced for no reason. The suspension used to work, but is now rusted into one spot. The chain actually doesn't skip that much, even though it used to quite often. And the chain along with the gears have been spray painted as carelessly as possible. So overall, the sport bike's had a ton of abuse, a ton of use, and is still going. Although the pedal likes to fall off occasionally. Let's see if it falls off again during this video. By the way, I can't emphasize enough the durability of this bike. I mean, the bike's literally bulletproof. So anyways, that was a fun little montage. Now let's talk about the driving experience. Now obviously it's not the most ordinary, considering this is a very small, I know it's basically a children's mountain bike, but the suspension doesn't work anymore. Transmission's on one gear. There's no, um, no brakes, and the front wheel is tiny. So how's the experience? Well, it's not terrible, but it's quite odd. Also, it's terrifying at times. I mean, go, just going normally, it's not that bad. You just kind of drive and it's fine. Going downhill at high speeds is absolutely terrifying because of the lack of brakes. And stopping it with your feet is somewhat difficult for some reason. I don't know. But generally, it's not that bad. It feels like a sort of, I don't know, overdone BMX. That's a bad comparison. Um, but yeah, that's the driving experience. So overall, driving experience wise, I would rate this bike probably a solid 5.5 out of 10. It's drivable, but it's a bike that I usually avoid, although it is kind of fun to go off road on if you're brave enough. Also, worth mentioning is the maintenance of this bike. There's very little. Um, the chain's been running without any lubrication for quite a while. And it's actually gotten better. Um, you don't need to do brake or transmission maintenance because there are no brakes or transmission. Um, uh, really, of all the repairs I've had to do, there's only 
uh, a few times I had to put the pedal back on because it fell off and it usually fell off uh, a few days later. I had to replace the front wheel a couple of times. Oh yeah, one time I was off-roading and the transmission, which you cannot shift, decided to completely fall apart. Front wheel, or the back wheel fell off and yeah, that was funny. I had to bring the whole thing about half a mile over to my friend's house because my friend has tools. So I was able to get it running. But really, this thing doesn't need much maintenance. It'll just run off of pure abuse. Let's try that again. There you go.